Hi, I'm Peter Denk from Specialized Freiburg and here at the test lab at uh, the headquarter in Morgan Hill. Normally you would think, okay, a bike that light can't ride well. So the first thing was we want to make it lightweight as much as possible and pass testing. So we simulated frames and uh, we made a frame model which exactly duplicated that, but also a normal frame and also the opposite of it. So we went to both extremes and then went to a simulation. We did FEA on it. And in the FEA, we can basically have a virtual frame. And that frame is in virtual reality on a test trick. And we did uh, BB stiffness, front end stiffness, and overall stiffness. Because with these three measurements, we can predict how a frame is riding. Uh, basically, then we came up with over 100,000 different versions of a frame and <laughs> we had to hire a supercomputer time to actually then process that. If we follow that shapes, we get rid of all stiffness layers. So it was very clear that just by this shape, we can save about 150 gram of composite weight because we don't need all these stiffness layers. When we then built the first frame, in the first frame, the, the raw frame weight was 545 grams, which is, it's basically, oh goodness, before, if anybody would have told me that before, I would say, no, 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 that's not possible. We put it on the test machine and the frame did behave so beautifully. It was so stable. It was so, no surfaces popped. Everything was so solid that we had only to add 10 grams and we already could test ride the frame. That was I've never seen that before. That was, oh my goodness. And that was the moment where we knew, okay, we have discovered something big. What we found out is really like, we can actually have a very small top tube in the rear and at the BB, but we need a pretty big down tube and top tube at the front. And we need a very big head tube. And we need to connect the head tube differently with shape to the top tube and the down tube than we thought before. So the, for BB stiffness, a big down tube in the BB area is way less important than we thought before. Where a real big top tube is so much more important. And this relation of how we taper it and how we taper the down tube is extremely important. And the curvature, how we run into the head tube and the curvature, how we go into the BB and in the C-tube is extremely important. We change a little bit the shape of how the down tube goes into the head tube and the whole guy starts to breathe and popping. And then you change this shape, oh, everything is stable. So we worked a lot on these super fine curvatures that when the force is flowing through the frame, it stays rock solid. And by that, bye-bye stiffness layers, bye-bye 150 grams. So the ethers, it's not light because we, we get rid of uh, wall thickness. Actually, the, the tubes itself have very significant wall thickness. No, we get rid of all the stiffness layers of what you would normally have in the frame. And if you see the frame on how it behaves on that machine, oh my goodness, the, the way it deforms is beautiful. It's just beautiful. The ethers is passing beautifully the hardest test of Specialized. The, we passed all, and believe me, we have a lot of tests. We don't not only have all these eyes or what the industry tests, we have a lot of internal tests. And sometimes I have to feel every month we get a new test, <laughs> which is good. Um, but we pass all of that. After that, we focused on ride quality. And we found a sweet spot for stiffness and went out. And to our surprise then is that a lot of our guys here at Specialized have their personal record in downhilling on the Ethos bike. So, and we have a, a ton of really great riding bikes. I mean, I think Specialized is known for perfect ride quality and that our bikes are super fast on the downhills. Our Ethos bike, a lot of guys have the fastest downhill time. I mean, that's how can that happen? And part of that really is that 
it behaves so well on a test machine. It deforms so nicely and so smoothly. So it's, there's no point that uh, and something is going on. So you as a rider have a perfect feel of what's going on. And, and it, it carves through, through corners. It's just, it gives you a lot of confidence. And normally, when you ride lightweight bikes, they don't give you confidence. You feel like you, you break in front of a corner and then your bike is doing this. And then you know, ah, I better slow down. With the Athos, you don't have that. It's, it's, you feel more planted. You, you have better feeling of what your tire is doing to the tarmac. So it's, it's, uh, it gives you that feel to say, okay, I go faster. That means on the uphill, you have a bike which is so snappy, so unbelievable fast. But when you reach the top, you say, ah, oh, now it's time for having fun because you have a beautiful downhill machine. All of that in a classic package that's very unique to the market.